everybody, this is Chris from Texas Toast Guitars, and I'm coming to you today from the paint booth where we are going to apply a metal flake finish to this Talman body for our good friend Gil, who's also our Coors rep. So we got to do a good job. <laughs> um, a lot of people call the finish we're going to do glitter. But it's not glitter. Strippers use glitter. Painters use metal flake. Uh, I first learned how to do this from an old hot rod guy a long time ago, sometime in the 90s. And this is the way that they used to do it in the 50s, only they used lacquer. We're not going to use lacquer. We're going to use urethanes. Uh, but it's the same basic technique. The first step is a base coat of black or whatever color you want the base coat to be. Why did they use black back in the old days, Chris? I don't know, Matt. Oh, okay. Uh, I think it was I thought just, maybe like just it was a, the traditional way that they did it. I think you get the most pop from the metal flake. Okay. Um, if you use a black background. Okay. Someone's gonna ask what kind of gun that is. Uh, this one is the uh, Devilbus. Okay. It's an HVLP gun. How's it work? Uh, it works really, really well. So we use that for just color coats? Yeah, typically color coats on okay. uh, bigger surfaces when you want to put a lot of paint on in a short amount of time. Yeah, people want to know. They've been asking a lot about like what, what you know, guns and stuff we use. Yeah, so. okay. Oh. Traditional metal flake comes in a powder. It's a dry powder. Uh, and this is obviously silver. This is holographic silver. Uh, and you can get just about any color you want, and you can get it in different sizes. And it gets everywhere. Look how glittery my glove already is. And all I did was open the container. So you got to be careful with this stuff because it gets all over everything. And we're going to take a bunch of precautions to get it everywhere. Now to, to hopefully not get it all over everything into we should, our nice new brand new spray booth. We should add a bunch of uh, film footage of us vacuuming and tearing the booth apart to clean this thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I can see it floating in the air. Yeah. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to suspend that stuff in this. It's an inner coat and mid coat clear uh, and then spray it on. And I'm going to mix up a bunch and I'm just going to use the metal flake in about half of it and then right after we spray metal flake I'm going to go over the top of it with just the clear to kind of lock it in until we spray our normal clear. Does that make sense man? Makes sense to me dude. Oh and this guitar the guy actually actually we need to spray a little purple over it then too. Uh, this guy wants it to be purple and you can do we could have either gotten purple metal flake but he had a very specific purple that he wanted. Yeah, and it just kind of depends on the look that you want. So we're going to spray a candy purple over our metal flake before our final clear. So that's why we're using silver? Correct. So how do you get the metal flake that is wildly, it's the herpes of the craft world, how do you get it out of the can and into the paint matrix without I, spilling it all over everywhere? I think I'm going to do this outside. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to pour a little bit of this into our, our gun that we're going to shoot it through and we're going to throw that gun away when we're done. <laughs> That's our old sealer gun and today's its last day as a gun. <laughs> and I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to pour some of the glitter in it and I'm going to seal it up and I'm going to come in here and spray it and I'm going to take it out and throw it away. Okay. What do you think? I like it. I can see it. It's all over. Oh, yeah, everywhere. It's, it's, yeah. It's, I think that'll be enough. It's still floating in the air. Uh-huh. <laughs> but wow, look how sparkly that is. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> See it, gun. 
I'm gonna have to explain to my old lady why I'm covered with glitter. And if I say Chris did it, that's not gonna be a good enough excuse. It's the only reason we're filming this. <laughs> so we let our metal flake dry for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and now we are going to spray transparent purple over the top of that. And we made this with our same color blender and a little bit of trans tint of uh, purple dye. to cure now I'm going to give it three coats of top coat what's Euro going to be the top coat Chris? Go Euro clear so sometimes people get this mixed up <clears throat> they think that sealer is clear and clear is sealer and so what how does that work one more time so sealer seals the wood yeah uh, we have base coat yeah uh, which is usually a color or a trans color uh, you could also call that mid coat. Sometimes we use something called a mid coat, which is a, uh, a mid clear. You could also call it mid clear. <laughs> and then you have top coat, which is your final, usually catalyzed uh, urethane top coat that will get wet sanded and buffed. We should do a video one day about like what all that stuff is, and we and, should. And people still will ask. Yes. All right. So all you're right. gonna go shoot clear now. Yep. What gun are you gonna use for clear? The best gun in the world, the Iwata. Yeah, I've been getting a bunch of questions about that too. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to go in there because I don't have a suit on and I'm covered with glitter. Yep. All right. Me too. Let's spray metal flake in the new spray booth, he said. It'll be fun, he said. It won't be too bad, he said. <coughs> Actually, it's a really good thing that we have designed our spray booth the way we have. We're going to pull all the filters off of the filter bank. It was time to do that anyway. And the floor is roll upable and disposable, so we're going to do that too. Hey everybody, so it's the next day and We've got to scuff this back with 400 grit and then 600 grit and reshoot it with clear because it takes a little bit more than one round of clear to bury all that metal flake. There you go. There you go. Okay, so it's day three on this project. I scuffed it back yesterday with some 400 grit and then scotch brighted it to get it all flat and ready for the next round of clear. I could have put a, the next round of clear on it yesterday, but Matt was hogging the spray booth spraying sealer all afternoon. So I'll take it in and give it another round of clear. Okay, so it's been a couple days since the last round of clear and now what we're going to do is wet sand it with 800 grit, 1500 grit, and then 2000 grit, and then I'll take it over to the buffer and we'll make it look like a mirror. Uh, it looks pretty good, but there's just the slightest amount of orange peel in it. So we're gonna get rid of all of that. All right guys, so that was wet sanding to 2000 grit. I spared you a bunch of time with watching me sand stuff because that's really boring. But as you can see, I did the back, oh man, I'm having a hard time here, the back <laughs> and the top completely. And they're actually, it's actually starting to get shiny because that 2000 grit is so fine, it starts to add shine to it, but it's still not shiny. Um, I don't typically sand the sides all the way. I just get rid of some of the orange peel uh, and if there's any big bad spots. Um, but on this one, the paint turned out really smooth so I, I don't have to do that. 
Uh, we're going to let it sit for a couple hours and off gas because that's what Tamco Clear suggests you do before you buff it. And the next time you see it, it'll be on the buffing wheel. And here's our buffing rig. This is similar to the one that Stu Max sells, only this is a homemade one that Matt made several years ago. Uh, we have 12 inch buffs on here. That's a medium buff. That's a fine buff. Uh, we have it set up so that it turns about a thousand RPM and the real deal is this stuff. Glanz Max is the brand. I have it on good authority that this is what all the big guitar manufacturers use to buff and this was kind of a game changer for us here recently. So we use 60 on the medium wheel and then we use uh, 30 on the fine wheel and it turns it into a mirror. So let's get to work. Now we'll let it cool off for a few minutes and then we'll wipe it off and it'll be finished. Okay, so it's all finished uh, after letting it cool for a little while and giving it a quick coat of wax, it is ready to be assembled. And it's really cool because that uh, holographic sparkle sort of flip-flops so it goes from blue to purple and back again depending on the angle. So this is Chris from Texas Toast, reminding you that if you're so smart, paint it yourself. That's what we did. See you next time. The only way